Hello, today I'm going to review the electric throttle from Magura. Uh, I've been using the cable throttle that comes stock with any Suron before 2020. And it's been treating me well, but I wanted to try out an electric throttle and uh, LunaCycle carries this Magura, so I thought I'd try it out. After installing it, before I can ride, I'm going to call Emoto Bros. They're going to do some remote tuning. Anytime you change your throttle, it's good to get it retuned. And that's only possible if you have the BAC4000 controller from Emoto Bros. First impressions on the Magura throttle is that it's pretty cheap feeling and uh, it doesn't say Magura anywhere on the throttle itself, which is really interesting because if you look at another Magura product like their brakes, uh, these MT5s for example, it says Magura in like four different places. And then you look at this Magura throttle and it doesn't say Magura anywhere. And I really do think that is a red flag that this might be some kind of knockoff, but whatever. LunaCycle carries it. They call it Magura throttle. So yeah, I'm gonna jump right in. I'm gonna throw this throttle on, call Emoto Bros, and then take it for a spin and let you know how it feels. Yeah. First impression, it feels all right. It's got some nice spring to it. Pretty smooth. All right, I'm just calling you Moto Bros. Hey, what's going on? What's up, bro? In case we need to. Perfect. All right, you want full throttle for, for how many seconds? Like five seconds or so. And with the wheel off the ground? Yeah. All right. All right, it cut out when I did full throttle. Yeah, and I should do that. So okay. It's supposed to cut out like that. All right, go ahead and do it again for about five seconds. Holy shit, dude. How is that the lowest mode I have? You can do it a test ride right now. I'll stay on the phone if you want and just make sure it's all good. I'm definitely gonna do a test ride. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to it and then I'll let you know if, if I need anything. Alrighty, sounds good. Yeah, just send me a text and let me know. Fuck yeah, dude. Thank you so much as always. I'm, I'm stoked on this. I'll let you know how yeah. it feels. Alright, cool. I'll talk to you later. Alright, peace.
All right, I'm about to take it out. Super excited about this. I've been using the same throttle for the, ever since I got the bike. Whoa. Ho, 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 ho. All right, I'm out here. I only rode like a block, so this is still my first impression. I'm on mode five, which is like my favorite. I think it's the perfect amount. Uh, throttle definitely feels much smoother than the, uh, than the cable throttle. Not in terms of like acceleration, it's the same sort of throttle curve, but just the throttle itself is like easier to twist. Wow, that feels goofy. That <laughs> feels so weird. Yeah, it's gonna take me some time to get used to this, but it's exactly why I got the E throttle. Um, one of my biggest issues with the cable throttle is that because it has so much resistance when you pull uh, or when you twist, I just get arm pump after like a couple minutes of riding. So this is definitely a little smoother. Still got, still got the control for the willies. Wow, that feels crazy. I don't even know if I like it. I feel like the cable throttle had had more feel to it. Let me just ride a little bit more. It just feels way more prone to like, I feel like I'm more likely to loop out or I'm more likely to get whiskey throttle because it's, it turns so easily. It doesn't turn as easy as the stock throttle on 2020 or 2021 Surons. That throttle is like super easy to turn. This one's got a little more spring to it, but... In front of him, he rode right by. <laughs> Saron life, let's get it. Yes, sir. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Cool, All right, so it's actually a couple days later and uh, I'm just unboxing this scooter that Varla sent my way. And um, I'm just gonna give my updated opinion on the Magura throttle now that I've been able to ride it for a couple days. I actually wasn't, I wasn't crazy about it when I first got it just because it didn't feel like it was worth $80. But low key, it's a pretty good throttle. It's, it's very, uh, if you just turn it the tiniest bit, it'll it'll tell the bike that. I feel like um, on on the stock throttle, it's just not as sensitive in that sense. Personally, I wouldn't recommend it if you already have an electric throttle. But if you don't, go ahead and try it out. As always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the support. One last wheelie because it's golden hour.